What is up guys and welcome back to some more WWE 2K16 Universe Mode. This is the WrestleMania kickoff show. So much to talk about here tonight, but here we have the WWE Tag Team Championships on the line. Kofi Kingston looking for that assisted big ending there on to Adam Rose. The New Day, of course, defending their WWE Tag Team Championships against the Social Outcast, the team, of course, here of Heath Slater and Adam Rose. Kofi Kingston trying to go for the win here tonight. Not enough just yet. Adam Rose still able to kick out of this one. Adam Rose looking to stay in this match and win back their WWE Tag Team Championships. We go back to the Royal Rumble where the Social Outcast getting their first opportunity at the Tag Team Gold. Uh, bringing in a steel chair to ultimately use that to their advantage to win that match and win their first set of WWE Tag Team Championships. Are they looking to repeat that here tonight? Bo Dallas once again with the steel chair, but Kofi Kingston able to get back into control here with this match. To go back to WWE Fastlane, we saw where the New Day were able to pick up their Tag Team Championships once again. And here they are tonight looking to defend here at the WrestleMania kickoff show there with the boom drop. Kofi Kingston looking to finally put away Adam Rose here. Perhaps setting up for something even bigger than that. Kofi Kingston now trouble in paradise there. Adam Rose knocked down to the ground. Falling very, very slowly there, but Heat Slater now knocked off the top rope, or off the apron rather. Kofi Kingston looking to go for the win here tonight in the kickoff show. Kofi Kingston now going for the pin. One, two, and three. Ladies and gentlemen, the New Day successfully defending their WWE Tag Team Championships. Once again, your three-time WWE Tag Team Champions there. Uh, able to pick up the win here against the social outcast so again what a huge huge win for them here at wrestlemania in sunny sunny los angeles california i really could not have picked a better location for wrestlemania than los angeles california go Kings in here with the first pinfall victory here for wrestlemania in just a little bit, we'll be taking you back to the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, where the winner, of course, becomes the new number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Tomorrow night, of course, that same championship will be contested in a six-man ladder match. Kevin Owens having to defend against former opponents of his, going up against the likes of the big guy Ryback, Cesaro, Dolph Ziggler, Neville, and Tyler Breeze, once again, all competing for a chance to win that Intercontinental Championship. But the winner, of course, of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale will, of course, be going one-on-one -on -one with them later on in the future. Of course, we'll take you back in just a little bit. Uh, the likes of 20 different superstars from the Usos, the Lucha Dragons, the primetime players, guys like Rusev from the League of Nations, to even Curtis Axel in that match, all competing for a chance once again to be named the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale winner. Of course, former winners in Cesaro and the Big Show no longer, or rather, not in this match here. We'll see you right there. That bridging German suplex by Curtis Axel. But we go into this one, the third year for the Battle Royal itself. We've seen winners like Cesaro and the Big Show not competing here tonight. So, of course, we're guaranteed a new winner for this match. We'll look at the Superstars right here in the ring. Four Intercontinental Championships, or rather, uh, well, yeah, four Intercontinental Championship title reigns among these six men. We've seen the likes of Kane, The Miz, Bad News Barrett, and even Curtis Axel picking up wins for that Intercontinental Championship, hoping to get back into that title picture. But for a guy like Stardust and Zack Ryder looking to create their first of many WrestleMania moments and finally go into uh, becoming that number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. So again, all six competitors here looking for that same opportunity to take down whether it's Kevin Owens or the Ryback or even Dolph Ziggler or Neville or Tyler Breeze. You know, the list goes on and on and on of guys where uh, they can be competing with in the near future for that championship. So far, again, in the ring, The Miz, Kane, Bad News Barrett, Stardust, Curtis Axel, and Zack Ryder. So again, not only are we crowning a new recipient of that Andre the Giant Memorial Trophy, but again, we are beginning to... Uh, we are going to be announcing the new number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. You know, over the last couple of months, Kevin Owens has been defending over a uh, month in and month out with new opponents each and every time. But there we do see Stardust actually, uh, as I wasn't even paying attention, Stardust actually eliminated by King Barrett there. 
So the first elimination here for the final six competitors goes to Stardust. But now Bad News Bear going for that sit down power bomb onto the Miz. Zack Ryder now looking to eliminate Curtis Axel here and put him into the final four in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale. Zack Ryder now with Curtis Axel on the top rope. Can we see Axel Mania come to an end here tonight? And Zack Ryder going over the top rope. So we're now down to four. Three former Intercontinental Champions, two of them looking to eliminate the Miz here tonight. And oh, almost getting the third elimination here. Almost looking down at the final three competitors, Miz. Very, very closely. Are, are almost rather being eliminated here tonight in this match. Zack Ryder being sent over the top rope, but able to muscle back into this one. Now we see Zack Ryder going up against the Miz and Bad News Barrett focusing on the Demon Kane. Who, of course, should be the favorite to win this match here tonight. When, when it comes to the size and power advantage that Kane has, you, you have to wonder a guy who, for the longest time, held the record for the most eliminations in the Royal Rumble. Uh, more than likely will be the favorite here in this one. Now looking to eliminate Bad News Bear, but able to get out of that one. Now Zack Ryder sending the Miz over the top rope. Looking, for, uh, looking to gather up his second elimination here tonight, rather. Go into the Miz right there. Uh, struggling, but able. Will he be able to do this? And a punch to the face. There goes down the Miz. We're now down to three competitors here tonight. The Demon Kane, King Barrett, and Zack Ryder, the Long Island IZ. All competing once again for the same opportunity. Kane now going back at it with Zack Ryder. Bad News Barrett trying to get into this one. Double teaming now looking to eliminate Zack Ryder. Can his future as a Intercontinental Champion, rather, uh, B shot here tonight, but no able to get out of that one. So for Kane and Zack Ryder, you know, guys with history here in this match. You know, when it came down to being the United States champion, the internet champion, at a time where Zack Ryder was one of the hottest superstars here in the WWE, only to be stopped by the Demon Kane himself. Will Zack Ryder be able to overcome him this time around to become the winner of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal? Now focusing his time there, but Kane able to reverse down, knocking down Zack Ryder and able to get, regain control here in this one. Bad News Barrett now uh, perhaps looking to get back into the Intercontinental Championship picture. You know, we haven't really seen much of him in this universe mode, but uh, he's a guy with such history with, with multiple Intercontinental Championship reigns in such a young career. Bad News Barrett could definitely be the one to win the match here tonight. Going for that full Nelson Slam on to Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder having taken a lot of damage here so far. But Kane looking to eliminate Bad News Barrett here. Over the top goes Bad News Barrett now. Kane looking to push him off. back, But Barrett rather uh, trying, trying to stay here in this one. But now Zack Ryder double teaming there. Helping the Demon Kane. To eliminate Bad News Bear now, so we're now down to just two competitors in Kane. Very quickly going for that sidewalk slam onto Zack Ryder. We're now moments away of crowning Kane as the recipient of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal uh, Champion. Or the winner, the, the winner of the trophy. But Zack Ryder with Kane on his shoulder, throwing up over the top rope. And we have our new number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. We'll take a look at some of the replays right there. Zack Ryder once again picking up Kane onto his shoulder and just throwing him over the top rope. Uh, very weightless did the Demon Kane look there. But finally, the boyhood dream has come true. Zack Ryder with the ultimate WrestleMania moment. When you look at the trophy here in honor of Andre the Giant, one of the biggest names in WrestleMania's history, Zack Ryder gets to cement his list or cement his name in the list for the WWE history books. Zack Ryder now just days away from getting his opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship, just weeks away rather from his guaranteed spot in that match once again. Hope you guys enjoyed tonight's episode. This is only the WrestleMania kickoff show, but tomorrow night, of course, we continue on with the WrestleMania pay-per-view. Hope you guys enjoyed tonight's episode, and we are going to be seeing you all on the next one.